What's up, everyone? So first and foremost, I need to tell you what happened before I even do this review. Because I'm moving slow. I hurt my back worse than I've ever hurt my back in my entire life. And uh, I've not been able to do anything. I actually had to take off work, which I have never called into work for any sickness or anything. Other than the flu one time, which obvious reasons. And um, But I had to call in. I've been off all entire week except Monday. And today now is Thursday. And uh, actually, I, I didn't go to work Monday. I'm sorry. So Sunday. So from Sunday until right now, I've been off work. Um, I've been laid up until today. I've been going to the chiropractor every day. I hurt my back. Uh, I was squatting. And anyway, you know the rest of the story. So this is my update on my Brave Concealment Holder. Holster. So I can't bend really good. So I'm trying to give, you know, trying to go as best I can. All right, so I told you I was going to do a three-month review on this, and um, I did. And um, this is it. I have not cut um, it to fit. I left it the way it was because I don't know if you can tell from my last video, but I dropped almost 26 pounds. Um, that's a whole different ballgame. If you want to check my channel out, you can see how I did it and why I did it and why I'm doing it and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that's not what I'm doing today. I'm doing this. But this is the holster, and I have literally wore it as much as humanly possible, literally. Um, I say that because I obviously can't wear it to work. And we were on a shutdown for a whole entire month, so for basically a whole entire month, I cannot wear it. Uh, I did wear it when I went out, obviously, as much as humanly possible, but I worked a lot of overtime, so... But anyway, so this is the holster. It still looks exactly minus... Sorry, but minus where my gun made the indention, my Glock. Um, minus that part, it has been phenomenal. Uh, I've got pros and cons, I'm gonna tell you why I like it, why I don't like it, what I thought was awesome about it, what I thought could use more work, just basically what I thought. Now I will tell you this much before I tell you any pros and cons. There is no other holster I have ever literally wore in my entire life, ever, literally, that is as comfortable as this. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you a belly band that I bought to go jogging in years ago because I thought it would be the best holster for me which was not um, but so let me uh, tell you some of the pros and the cons on this and uh, we'll go from there and I have to address a few questions that um, a couple of people have asked me and what I thought and stuff like that so let me go ahead and further ado, get you the pros and the cons, and we'll work on that, and I'll uh, tell you in a second. All right, so new day, obviously. This is, um, I did this video before, um, on Friday. So, this is now Sunday. So, actually, I did it on Thursday. So, and that's, this is the belly band. I forgot to show you. So, this is kind of like an insert, obviously. This is the belly band that I used to wear. Obviously, it wouldn't fit my uh, block too well. But it's for more of a smaller gun. This is the belly band I had. It's got Velcro on it. Once you set it, you just snap it into place. It works great. But, you know, it's not it's not that holster by any means. Okay. So I had a couple more questions about uh, the brake concealment. I do not use the snap. You can't take that off. I mean, I guess if you cut it off, you could, but. I don't use the snap because I don't find any reason to use it. Um, once my gun is on my side, it does not come out, it does not move, it does not ride up, it does not ride down, it stays where it's supposed to. So I do not use the snap whatsoever. Uh, the, I took it off actually, because it, it's a piece of Velcro inside there, because Velcro's in there, I took it off, I don't use it. So I hope that helps. Okay, so like uh, one guy just asked me about, is the Velcro strap wide enough? Plenty wide enough. I'm a big dude, and no bunching, no nothing. 
once it's on there, I mean, you got, you know, two pieces basically going together, and it's it's stout. I mean, it's stout. And, yes, it is worth $70. No questions asked. Uh, I wish it was $50, <laughs> um, but it's not. I paid $70 for it, and I'm glad that I did. I'm glad I gave it a try. I'm one of those people who um, read those reviews. Oh, this is crap. This is crap. Well, I mean, most of the time, I'll check it out just to see what I think. So glad I did because I looked at this website numerous times and I said, I don't know, that just doesn't make any sense. After that belly band, after this this floppy one, then getting a good one, I think I paid like 40 bucks for this thing. In case you're interested in this one, it's made by Pistol Wear. It's basically for jogging, it's neoprene. So it's good for a small gun, like a bodyguard or something. Yes, pull the trigger, buddy. This one is worth, well worth the money. Um, uh, that, that's all I can say about it. It's great. Uh, I don't think you'll be. And like like I said before, and they tell you, you know, if you don't like it, I'll give you money back. So, hope that helps you. Good luck. Let me know if you like it. Okay. So here are. All right. So here are some of the um, the pros for this that I have come up with. Um, it's extremely, extremely concealable. I'm going to tell you why I think and why I said that. Uh, my main reason is because when you put this on, let's say, hypothetically, your jeans, which I don't wear, but have, like, they're, I guess, not skinny jeans, but they're the short waist, whatever, not, you know, man size jeans, and, you know, and there's not a lot of waist there. Well, you can tuck this down low, or you can ride it up high. Um, like the one video show and I've seen where you can put it around your chest and you can wear it up here, which I don't recommend doing. I think that's kind of silly because, first of all, how in the heck would you... Anyway, but it's concealable, front, back, right, left. I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. Appendix, behind the back, I mean, whatever, you know. Um, it's very lightweight and very flexible. If you really want to know how much it weighs, I'll go away it. But I'm sure you can find it. I mean, it's nothing. Not a thing. It's Plus, even at that, I don't like these people who say, Well, you carry a heavy gun because it's so heavy. Well, you're carrying it for a reason. So if it's heavy, uh, that's just, to me, just a, I don't know. Anyway, flexible, I mean, when it's cold as heck outside, cold as heck outside, I said, yeah. You put this on, it's still warm. It's not like cold like a, like a plastic shield, like the 380 I'm carrying has Kydex. You know, you put it on, it's cold. It, you feel the cold. Not that that bothers me either, but the same. Uh, this is the big one, I think. Uh, <laughs> going to the bathroom. So, we all do it. I mean, it's not like, you know, I'm telling you something you ain't never heard before. But you go to the bathroom, let's just say Lowe's, because it seems like I meant Lowe's a lot. So you're at Lowe's and you have your, let's just say this holster right here, for instance, this 380, which I would take off because it's small. But let's just say this was my full-size Glock and I had the same kind of, you know, holster for it. But let's just say I was going to the bathroom. Well, your pants are down, you know, around your ankles and your gun's sitting there on your pants. Some people take it off and put it on top of the, um, on top of the uh, toilet paper holder, which I do sometimes. But let's just say you're doing that, okay? Well, put this on. Nope. It stays on your side. You never miss a beat. It never goes to the ground. It's always on you. Always on the side. Always. I love that. Versatile, I mean, I mean, it's just it's just there. I mean it, I mean, you know, you're sitting down on the toilet, this is right here on the side, because that's where it was to begin with. So anyway, uh let's say like me for instance. So I went from two seventy two to two forty eight. Two forty seven actually, but Okay, well, let's just say that I cut this, for instance. Cut one of these off to make it fit. Well, now I gain, let's just say I gain weight. Well, if I cut it off, then it's, it's no good for me. So, I like to leave it this, the same length. Yeah, so. uh, you decide how low or how high that you want it. So, like I said, you know, if you wear jeans, sweatpants, shorts, uh, 
I wore these with a pair of Nike shorts, you know, the little cloth shorts, like you play basketball or whatever, and ain't nobody know. And good thing about it is, that I like, is, for instance, oh, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'll tell you, that's something I got to tell you. Uh, this is another big thing for me. There's no hooks, no clips, no snaps, no anything. You put this on, you tuck it under your, inside your pants, like normal, it's gone. Ain't nothing showing on the outside, nothing bunching up, unless, you know, unless you bunch it up, you know, while you're putting it on, you know, so it's kind of got like a little divot like that, which you wouldn't do anyway, but. So that is just some of the pros that I like. Now, some of the cons, uh, that I found with this are <sighs> so I don't like to uh, depend on a light and a laser combo on my gun. I do have one, which I have a good deal on it. It's the XDS Springfield. But you cannot put a light and laser in here. I mean, I guess you could. You gotta force it in there, but I, I don't know. I wouldn't do it. So, anyway, that's. I don't know. Maybe maybe they can come up with something like that. Uh, the magazine holder. This is a question that I had. Have I done? I'll get to my questions in a minute. So the magazine holder. You know, most people when they're shooting. Let me get my gun out to show you. Yes, my gun is loaded. Sorry if it bothers you. But when you're shooting, you know, you got your finger on the trigger and you're shooting. You drop the magazine out, bam, comes out. Well, if you got the gun in this hand, you're right-handed. Obviously, the magazine holders are on the right side, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, I come up with something, something really simple anyway, for that reason. And uh, okay, we'll talk about that a little later on. So, I guess that is kind of like a, a con, I guess. Not for me, but anyway. Uh, for a full-size gun... If you do carry a magazine on that side, you got one pretty decent size hole, and then you got, as you can see, mine stretched out because I have put my magazine in there. And then you got a little tighter one. And I understand, you know, that's probably for like a flashlight or something else, and that's fine. But they are really tight for my Glock 21 Gen 4. Do magazines fit in there? Even now, they're still tight. They go in there, obviously, because I've stretched it out. But anyway, they're just a little tight. Which is a good thing, I guess. And, uh... Another question I had was, reholstering the gun when it's on you. That's another downfall. Now, my thing to that, about reholstering this, why it's on your person, here's my thing, okay? I do a lot of dry firing at, at my house. No bullets, no magazines, no anything. And... So if I'm going to use this holster to reholster or whatever, what have you, um, I won't wear a shirt. So I don't have to work, fight that shirt, get it back in. Like, you know, this one I can pull it in and not even look at it, put it right back in. This one you can't do that. And that's okay. Here's, here's my thing about that. If you're out in the real world and you've got to pull your gun out to shoot somebody, you're not going to be like, bam, and then, ah, let's reholster. Chances are it ain't going to happen. Chances are if you shoot somebody, you're going to be putting the gun down after it's all said and done, of course, after you know that the scene's clear or what have you. And you're going to, you know, say, you know, you're, I'm a concealed carry, I'm not meaning no less no harm, blah, 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 your whole spiel. You're going to put that gun down. Obviously, I wouldn't, but that's what you're supposed to do, you know. I, I would probably, I don't know what I would do, because I've never been in that situation, but I don't, I wouldn't put the gun so far out of my reach. But anyway, reholstering was not... I mean, you can. A skinny person, I would say a skinny person, probably could reholster. Probably not the clothes on as easy, but anyway, I can't. I can't reholster. Not with a shirt on. I can, but it's I gotta wiggle it and yeah, just rather. But like I said, this is real world stuff here. What I'm telling you. So if you were to carry this and you needed to use it, chances are you're not gonna be reholstering anyway. So is that really an issue? Not really. Now let's get to some of those questions that that I had. Um, okay, so here's the questions. Here's a question. Uh, 
person says, I would be scared of that holster bunching up around the trigger area when holstering. Well, I've already kind of touched a little bit on that, um, but I'm going to show you anyway, holstering it. I'm not wearing it um, because of my back. But. So, it is loaded. I'm not unloading it. Sorry. But this is it going around, bunching up on the, uh, I guess, near the trigger. There is no bunching. It stays very uniform. I don't have any problem with bunching up anywhere. This top stitch, I guess, is my, my own personal. This top stitching right here is so stout, I guess, that it, it keeps it from doing that. And you see, no bunching. Every time it goes in there, no problem. So, I don't have a problem with that. Um, maybe some people do, I don't know. I don't, I just don't. All right, the next one says, he got his today and he loves it. Let's see. Uh, this one's from USA Firearm Training. Uh, they're looking forward to my review, which is good. That means a lot to me, especially when the company who makes this, or anything I review, actually reaches out to you and says, you know, thank you for reviewing, blah, blah, blah. You know, because I hope that, I mean, just because they're making videos, you know, I think that when real people like me, they're not getting paid for this, I pay for this my own self. But when, you know, when real people do this, I think it makes, you know, it makes it look better, I think. I mean, this is a quality product. Okay, anyway, enough of that. So, let's see. Now, this one says, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that I would want to remove the holster in the event of a situation requiring you to pull and use your firearm to protect your family. Therefore, my opinion, it might be comfortable, but not a viable solution for concealed carry. If the holster collapses, so you cannot easily reholster with one hand, that can be an issue. Lastly, I don't just think having your magazine on your strong side with your firearm is a good idea. And that looks like the only option with that particular holster. Do I find that to be true? Absolutely. Uh, as far as the reholstering goes, um, I think I already told you about that. Uh, usually when I'm out, I'm going to touch on it lightly again. When I'm out, I don't pull my gun ever. It stays on my side all the time until I'm ready to either go to bed or whatever. Carry it all the time. Well, it's on me, it's on me. Just like this 380 right now, it's on me. The reason why I don't have that gun on me right now is because I had to go to the chiropractor and it's not practical for me to carry that gun on my person trying to get cracked, you know, all that jazz while I'm, you know, it's, it's just too much for me right now. Um, so anyway, and, and, and the magazine. So this is what I do. I use this. This is a snag mag. So let me put the computer down here. I use the same snag mag for my 380. And what it does, so let's say that this is my body. Well, actually, I'll, I'll use the big one so you can see a little better. So this is my body. This is where it sits. And this will be on my pocket. Looks like a belt holder. So this is my body. I'm going to do it this way because I'm right-handed. So, and let's say that I'm bah, 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 shooting, right? Well, I reach in with my left hand. So this is my body, and I pull it out, and it's already set up, so when I put it in, bam, it goes right in. So this is what I use. It's got a little pocket holder on it, keeps in my pocket, perfect. I have no issues with this. The only issue I have with this one is because this magazine is so heavy, because the bolts are so heavy, is that it kind of rocks just a little bit in my front pocket, which is good because that clip will hold onto my pants pocket. Other than that, that's the only issue I have. And on the other side, where I showed you I put my magazine at before, it's the magazine I keep in there. So actually, I'll usually carry, when I carry that 45, I have three magazines with me. So that's what I do. In my left pocket, I keep the snag mag. All right, let's see. Have I tried doing a magazine reload with it? Seems like it wouldn't work too well. That's basically kind of the same question I just showed you. It does work if you use, like I said, on your left side, like, or if you're right-handed. Uh, let's see, and that's it. So, anyway.
So, hands down, I think that this is the best holster I have. Now, since I hurt my back, and when I did carry this, um, I still use my raw dog holster. Um, but let me tell you this. When you put this on, or that alien gear I had, when it's against your body, that magazine wheel pokes out your shirt. You put this on, it conforms to every nook and cranny of your body, whether you're fat, skinny, whatever, and the magazine wheel sticks out almost not at all. Because this, you know, you can see it. I mean, it's it doesn't give because it's Kydex and it's leather. Leather, it, I mean, it's a good holster, plain and simple. I carry this holster still, and I will continue to carry it. But if I have time to put this on, which, like I said, I have reviewed this thing good, and I'm telling you, I forgot a couple cons I wanted to tell you. Um, so, uh, there's no cuts. There's no... It's not even falling apart. It's great. So, one more con that I want to tell you, and I, I wish I would remember this. I wrote it down. I just skipped over it. So, right here on the edge of this Velcro, on the Velcro side, not the um, soft side, but the hard side of it, every single corner, literally. So, this is, you know, this is a pretty good piece. This is the hard part of the Velcro. It's hard, I know it's hard to see, but, so it's that long right there. So it's about as long as my hand, five, six inches, whatever. But every corner has a sharp point on it, on each piece, two pieces. So I wore this like that with the sharp points, cut me all the time, thought, ah, I cannot stand this. I don't know what's going on with this holster. So I thought, you know, all these reviews are good, I gotta figure out why mine's not being good. So figured out, took a look at it, and found out that these corners are sharper than hell. So I just took a damn um, pair of scissors and I cut that sharp point off, and then I took a fingernail file, or actually my Gerber, and used that file and I rubbed it down just a little bit, because you can't obviously rub it on too much. And I've had no problem since. I'll tell you another little trick I've learned about carrying this holster. Sometimes, um, if you don't get the Velcro on exactly right, let's say you're like this, so it's kind of overlapping, and the hard part will rub against your skin. Now, I don't always wear bigger underwear, I guess you could say. I don't wear bikinis. That's, that's gross. But anyway, um, so, you know, I wear boxer briefs, and sometimes they're lo some are looser than others, you know, because it's material they're made of. So sometimes... Um, if I start getting a little chafing, which is the only time that happens is when this is just over just the hair, I will pull my underwear up just a little bit. I know that sounds weird, but so this will be actually on top of the band of my underwear and there's no problem. So if you're still thinking about getting this holster, my God, spend the money. I mean, the guy will give you damn money back if you don't like it. I mean, he ain't got to worry about me sending it back. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a done deal. Hope you like this review. I wanted to do this outside. I wanted to do this somewhere more than in my garage, but I, my back is just now starting to feel a little better. I mean, I came out here Monday to do this review, and I literally fell on the floor and almost had to call an emergency rescue squad to come get me because my back was just unreal. So, guys, like and subscribe. At least hit me a like button. It makes me know that you watch this and you like it. Um, I mean... <laughs> I don't think that you'll you'll go wrong with this holster. Um, let me show you what it looks like with the magazine. Now this magazine's empty. For all those people that are anal about it, you see how tight it is. But this is also a big ass magazine, so and it holds 13 rounds. So, but that's what it looks like when it's in there. So you're not getting another one in there. Uh, you know, I don't even think you can get it on that side. So. But you can carry one on that side, and then, you know, you can get a snag mag or, or shit, mag holder. Makes a great one. Um, I got that from XDS. I do not have one for my Glock because I don't make it yet. But anyway, so that's that. Get one. You won't be sorry. Like and subscribe. God bless you all.